We are back. Um, don't really know what to do. Oh, this window's open. We can look out the window. No, no, no. My bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be all right. I'm already dressed. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. He she didn't her. even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Oh, damn. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. I'm fine. There's my bag. Thank God. Sorry about that, had a little bit of an interruption. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly, I can't run to you, even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number, 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before so I passed out, up. I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. beyond appearances there are those who betray me and speak ill of me but someone will know how to give me the right advice July 19th I retrieved the cameras at the lake but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha so much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. 
The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. Violence against citizens continues in La Romola, and once again General Kay's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. When it's not too sunny outside, the 200 ISO film works well. by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti-fascist political motive appears to be the only... General Edict K. New rules on curfew... ...the Battle of Poggi Ponzi. On the 18th, they are still far from the Tavernelli Valdichino. The German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausted for the invaders. Looking for that key. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. Attempted murder in the Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. the newspaper you proud of me I should pick up the phone but remain silent if I let the caller speak first I'll find out who it is hello ma'am can you hear me is there somebody there Mr. Eric oh, it's the nanny I can confide in her nanny Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh, my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me. It's Julia. Oh, my god. Julia. My little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I... I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the white lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool quite the opposite. 
She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Damn. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Damn. Harsh. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due- No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? I can save someone's life. Maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Martha was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. To cut the cable, I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. Bicycles are banned, so I'm not, I'm not about to be riding my bicycle. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. Here, Martha. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I 
did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Commune of San Casciano, province of Florence, death city. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two, a part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. Three, I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four, to communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. I came here to fish when I was little. I went with that ever so kind man who worked for my father. Who knows where he is now? Maybe he joined the war too. I'm looking for the cable now. German tank. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should report its location. This wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. So I think, now mind you, I, I, I paid very little attention to the game because I knew I knew this was going to be like the kind of game I wanted to play for the channel. Um, I think it may not be like a horror game. Story's kind of bringing me in. There were some creepy elements though.
is empty. The telegraph would have been installed nearby. Must be hidden in one of these feed bins. 